So next I'm going to uh, show that it's, uh, the following. If a number of parallel chords of a parabola are drawn, their midpoints lie on a straight line parallel to the axis. This line is called a diameter of the parabola. The tangent at the point where it meets the curve is parallel to the chords. And the tangents at the end of any one of the chords meet on the diameter produced. So we're going to look at this diameter concept. Let me go into GX web. Uh, I already have the uh, parabola created. Um, so let's uh, take a look at this. I wanted to create a parallel set of chords. So here's, here's one chord. Uh, it's going to go from S. Let's make it go from T. you. So um, we'd like this to have a whole family of such chords. Um, so we'd like to work out what you should be in order that the chord should have a particular slope. Um, so let's just have a look at the slope of that chord. So what, let's say we want the slope to be M. Um, and so uh, let's have a look at the slope of the chord from T to U. So that's 2A over minus T minus U. Now, what if I would like to find U such that the slope is equal to M, a particular prescribed slope? Well, um, I could ask you to solve that. It's a relatively straightforward thing to solve, but I'm going to do it um, using Wolfram Alpha just to illustrate uh, uh, cooperation with an algebra system. So I'm going to copy this thing as text. Um, said so it couldn't copy the text. Let's try again. Text copied to clipboard. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go to Wolfram Alpha. What I want to do is solve that thing equals m for you. And so here we have a solution u equals 2a over m minus t. Um, all right, clicking on it, I've created this. this as a thing on its own, as an expression of its own. And I need to copy it as plain text, which is what I'm going to do here. Copy plain text, copy the clipboard I've now copied. So um, going back to GX Web, instead of you, I can put that expression in. And if I ask for the slope of CD, I would get M. So what that means is as T varies with that particular value of the, on the other side, I'm going to get uh, a constant slope. So I'm going to get a set of parallel uh, chords. So therefore, if I take the middle of that set of chords, I can ask for its locus. As t varies and get that uh, locus, it's a, a straight line. As you can see, we can get this equation. Um, minus 2a plus y times m. So y equals minus 2a over M. Let me see if we vary M. Uh, we can see that uh, changes its location. And we can stick um, we can stick a line through here. Um, let me just give it the equation y equals 2a over M. 
Let's do that. Um, and we see that it sits right on top of the locus there. And then the final thing we want to see is uh, that the tangents at the endpoints, one tangent, here's another tangent. And we look at the intersection point and we can see the coordinates of F. Uh, the y coordinate there we see is 2a over m. They meet um, on that uh, uh, vertex. And the, finally, um, they meet on that, on that uh, um, diameter line. Finally, if we put a point on the curve at that location minus, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, location 2a over m to our um Uh, we're not quite got it there. Um, A over M. It's going to put it right there. Now uh, let's just make sure we're at the right spot. Coordinates. Coordinates of G. Uh, well, coordinates 2A over M. Um, so if we put a, a point there and get the tangent to the curve at that point, that's at the end of that diameter, um, we can ask for the um, slope. That tangent, and it, it equals M as promised.